recipes for salads in a jar. So of course you're going to need a mason jar. This size is a pint and a half. I recommend getting a quart size because then you can pack a little bit more in there. Um, they didn't have any in the quart size with a wide open mouth and you want to make sure to get the wide mouth. Um, because it's easier to put it in there and then if you want to eat it out of the jar You're going to want to be able to fit your fork in there because the other ones are just too small So you're going to want to make sure to get some mason jars Another thing that's going to help and I recommend investing in these plastic lids If not, you're going to be replacing these and these just rust and I just think it's easier to use the plastic ones um, And the reason that we put them in the mason jars is because it helps them it helps to keep the salad fresh for up to a week. I usually try to eat the salad within about five or six days, but you can go up to a week and it will stay fresh, but it is very important that you layer it the correct way. You're going to want to start with your dressing down at the bottom, and then I like to put any protein um, or anything that's spongy like cucumbers or peppers or anything that can kind of marinate in that dressing. I like to put that at the bottom and then my other vegetables, and then you're going to want to make sure to keep the lettuce away from the dressing because if you do that then it's going to keep it fresh a lot longer it's not going to get soggy you don't want your lettuce soggy so anyways i'm going to share with you this first recipe and this is a southwest recipe that we really like and what you're going to need for that is some red bell peppers some sunflower seeds some chicken and that is optional if you are a vegetarian you don't have to add chicken you could also add ground turkey or anything like that, but we're doing chicken. Some black beans, some sliced olives, and then I have just cut up some romaine lettuce. Now we're going to hurry and make the dressing that is going to go on the bottom. So I have in here two tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm going to add to that two tablespoons of lime juice. I'm going to do one teaspoon of cumin. And then about a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. About a fourth teaspoon of chili powder. And then some salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna shake a little bit into there. And this dressing should be enough for about um, three salads. Okay, and I'm just going to stir that up. Okay, and then we're just going to add that to the bottom of our mason jar. about that much. And I'm going to add my chicken. And just kind of eyeball this. I always like to do about half um, dressing and vegetables and chicken and then half lettuce. So just keep that in mind. And my peppers, some black beans, sunflower seeds. olives and then you could also add tomatoes or anything that you would like this is just a basic recipe but you can of course add more of the things that you love all right and then I'm just going to pack in as much lettuce as I can of my jars and then just stick them in the fridge and then it's that easy you just grab it and you have your meal okay this next recipe is a cilantro lime chicken salad so first I'm going to show you how to make the dressing for this one it's very similar we're starting with two tablespoons of olive oil 
and adding two tablespoons of lime juice. We're going to add a teaspoon of cumin. And then we're going to add a pinch of red crushed pepper, or crushed red pepper, I guess you should say. And then we're going to add some salt and pepper once again. quinoa, some salsa, red onion, chicken, again that's optional or you can substitute for whatever else you would like, some sliced grape tomatoes, some cooked chickpeas, some chopped up cilantro, and again I'm using romaine lettuce. So we're just going to start layering that with our dressing at the bottom. just so it can kind of soak some of that up. Be so yummy. And some chicken. Maybe it did a little more than half, so I'm really going to try to pack this lettuce in here. It's nice to put the um, different things that can absorb and marinate in that dressing where we don't have a ton of dressing because then it's going to help disperse that flavor a little bit more. more I would love to show you guys more so be sure to let me know if you guys have any of your favorite salad recipe recipes please leave them in the comments below so that I can try them and here's to a healthier new year I think it's so important that we plan our meals out because it just helps us to make better choices if I don't have something planned then I'm really quick to grab some potato chips or something unhealthy and I'm really trying to be healthy so let me know if you like this if you want to see more I love you so much thank you for watching and I'll see you next time Bye.